Have you ever found yourself so overwhelmed by life's demands, feeling like you're drowning and struggling to keep up, but hiding your challenges behind a brave face? Because I certainly have. Today, I'm going to take you on a personal journey of a period in my life when I was feeling just that way. I'm going to talk about vulnerability, something called EFT and how it transformed my life, and also how taking your first step towards your own transformation can create a, a ripple of positive change. And then I'll also share some of the science behind EFT as well. So growing up, my family didn't exactly encourage me to openly express my feelings. In fact, emotions were often treated as something to be kept hidden, almost like a closely guarded secret. And it wasn't because my parents were unloving or unkind, rather, it was a reflection of the cultural and generational norms of our household. I was raised to believe that being strong and resilient meant not letting your emotions show. It was as if showing vulnerability was a sign of weakness. My parents rarely talked about their feelings, even when times were really tough. And so I learned to put on a brave face when I was going through tough times of my own. I developed very unrealistic expectations of myself and a strong need to maintain a facade of perfection. I believed I had to be the ideal wife, perfect mother and boss, all while maintaining the illusion that everything was under control. As you can imagine, having such high standards as these, as so many of us have, can lead to disappointment, depression, and an overwhelming sense of failure. And so it did. While running a successful business, I was also battling with postnatal depression and anxiety after the birth of my second son. But I was determined to excel in all my, self, all my self-imposed roles. Being a great boss back then meant always being punctual, working through my lunch break, and being one of the last to leave, resulting in me having to rush like mad to get back to pick my boys up from nursery. And it was so stressful, and I would get there just as it was closing, every time. And I would sit in the car, sobbing, because I also wanted to be the perfect mother. In the midst of this, I was also dealing with the heartbreaking reality of my mother's battle with Alzheimer's, trying to be the perfect daughter. And she was very much in denial of her own situation, which made it all the more challenging. And as the disease progressed, it became almost impossible to keep everything in balance. And I began to feel trapped. Eventually, I did reach a breaking point. I felt like I tried everything within my power to keep, keep it all together, but despite my best efforts, everything continued to fall apart. Now, taking that first step towards turning things around was incredibly difficult, as is the case for so many of us. But my depression and my anxiety were taking a toll on my family, my career, and my sense of self. I tried traditional therapies, antidepressants, counselling, CBT, and then I started exploring other options like, alternative op options like mindfulness, medita meditation, NLP, and many other things as well. But none of these seemed to work well enough for me. Then life delivered another gut-wrenching blow with the sudden loss of my mum. And this com compounded the grief of everything else I'd missed in my life because of the postnatal depression. My ability to be present during my 
my children's early years, my relationship with my husband, and just being able to enjoy the beautiful life I'd worked so hard to create. But then, fate intervened in the form of a chance encounter at a friend's party. And in a rare moment of vulnerability, I shared my struggles with someone who showed empathy. And she suggested something called emotional freedom techniques. And it's much more commonly known as EFT or tapping because it involves tapping on specific acupuncture points on the face and upper body. And I have to say, I was very skeptical and I questioned how tapping on parts of my body was really going to make me feel better. But I was running out of options, so it felt like. So I thought, what the hell, I'll give it a go. And so I did. I started working with an EFT practitioner. And to my astonishment, my anxiety and my depression began to lift. Years of guilt, shame, anger, worthlessness started to melt away. Painful memories lost their sting. I woke up feeling lighter, with a clearer mind. I started laughing again, having fun with my kids, reconnecting with my husband. The transformation was profound and fast. I felt like a different person in a matter of weeks. And it didn't stop there. The effects rippled across my entire family. As I continued to explore EFT, I used it to help my son overcome anxiety at school. I used it to navigate any conflict. It brought a sense of calm into my home and drew us all together again. It taught me how to process my emotions so that I was able to look back on past experiences and view them in a more positive light, seeing them as lessons rather than failures. I started overcoming my fears, stepping out of my comfort zone in my career. Standing here and doing a talk like this is something I could never have done before. And you can probably tell I'm really nervous. <laughs> but fear no longer dictates my decisions, thanks to EFT. I'm not going to give it all the credit. I'm the one that's done all the work. <laughs> but it has been an incredible support to me and my life, and I will be forever grateful. So, how does EFT work? Well, Harvard University conducted a 10-year study on acupuncture points using brain scans and clinical trials. And their findings revealed that by tapping on these specific pressure points, it sends a calming signal to the brain stress center, the amygdala, literally telling it to calm down. Years of clinical research, but research by researchers like um, Dr. Peter Stapleton and Dawson Church further confirmed the effectiveness of tapping on these pressure points. Their research indicated that it can change DNA expression. It can dramatically reduce the stress hormone cortisol. And it can even alter brain pathways. You can tell I get really excited about it. EFT is used to treat a wide range of issues, from phobias, PTSD, chronic pain through to enhancing sports performance. As I witnessed firsthand the profound changes it can have, I developed a strong desire to want to share EFT with other professionals, helping them create lives that they love, and working with corporates, helping them to enhance their team's performance. I trained with some of the leading experts in the world over the years, and I have come to understand the deep connection between the mind and body. Unlike therapies that focus solely on cognition, EFT marries the mind and body. 
addressing not only our thoughts, but also our nervous systems and the emotions held within as well. So, why am I sharing this with you today? To show you that it only takes one step to start the process of reconnecting with ourselves, creating a ripple effect that transforms our relationships, our families, and our communities. Sometimes our lives need to be shaken up, changed, and rearranged to guide us to where we're meant to be. And that may require an open mind, the courage to be vulnerable, and the willingness to try things that you never thought you would. In a world where the demands of life can be so overwhelming, we can't solve our problems by silently suffering behind the brave faces we're used to wearing. To truly change, we must open up and transform the way we perceive things. Because when we do, it opens up a world of possibilities, touching not only our lives, but those around us too. So in the end, I want to leave you with this. Sometimes, the answers to our most chal- biggest challenges can be found in the most unexpected places, such as unconventional methods like EFT. So I encourage you to take that first step, because your journey to a happier, healthier life might be just around the corner. Thank you.